It doesn't matter what your target grade is. If you want to employ those top grades, you can. Here I have for you top five tips of A star students. So, number one, have a range of things that you do. Don't just sit at the computer playing computer games, don't just sit at the computer on Facebook or on your phone or on Twitter. Have a range of hobbies. Now that I know this sounds weird, but if you spend the entire time just doing one thing, it's going to be really, really hard for you to stop doing that one thing and start to focus on your studies. Whereas if you're used to dividing your time up by lots of different things, so having specific time set aside for studying is going to be a lot easier. If you spend all of your time on Facebook while you're studying, all you're going to be thinking about is all oh, what's happening on Facebook. So you're going to hate me for saying this, but cut down on the screen time, get outside, do, do some running or do some volunteering or anything, get some hobbies. The next really, really important thing that you need is a study area. You need a desk. This doesn't have to be a big space and this doesn't have to be at home, but it needs to be clear of any distractions, so uh, no phone, no TV anywhere near you. You need to have everything you need there whether this is like a nice little desk tidy that is all fancy or just your pencil case so you need your pens your pencils i am a big fan of color pencils so as many color pencils highlighters sparkly pens as you can get i think that'd be awesome you need your books there you need your paper to make notes on a study area is really really important if you don't have this kind of area at home your school library or the local library or anywhere that you can find that you can just sit quietly and study without any distractions is going to be really, really important. Planning how you spend your time is such an important skill. You need to map out each day to know exactly what you're doing. Do you need to spend more time on maths or do you find maths really easy and need to spend more time on English where you're struggling a little bit? Don't just focus on the subjects that you like, the subjects you know, maybe you want to do at A-level or you want to do at university. You also need to focus on the subjects that you're struggling on so you can get fantastic grades across the board. It's so important that when you get a bit of work back, you look at the feedback you've been given and correct any mistakes. If you see that you've made a mistake in this question and you just leave it, you're never going to learn how to correct that mistake. So always, always, always look at what you've done, look at what the teacher said, and then fix your mistake. Even if your teacher hasn't said anything about that, work out what you've done wrong. Ask your teacher, ask your friends, ask me, and then fix that mistake. If you just leave it, you are never going to be able to get those top grades. Make sure everything you do is eventually perfect doesn't have to be perfect first time the most important thing is you learn from your mistakes and make sure that when you redo it it is going to be lovely now this is a rather boring rather long one but if you want to get that a star is one of the really important things you need to do it is the exam specification now some of your teachers may have provided you with this already i provide my students with it on a nice bit of paper so it's all student friendly the exam specification is a really long, really boring teacher document that the exam boards give us and tell us what, we, what they want you to know. And this is what we base all of our teaching on, the exam specification. If there's anything on the exam specification that you're not sure about, you need to fix it. Now, to make things a little bit easier for you guys, what I've done on my website is I've put all the exam specification statements on there and I've underneath them put all of the different videos that I've made or different links to different websites that will help you understand that statement. So you can go to my website, you can find which exam board you're doing, which topic you're doing, and then just go through it bit by bit. And yeah, I'm afraid this bit is a bit of a slog, it's gonna be hard work, but if you wanna be getting that A star in science, this is what you have to do. Make sure you know everything on that specification really, really well. Make sure you know everything the examiners want you to know. So there we go, five top habits of A star students. One, know the specification really, really well. Two, correct any mistakes that you've made so that you can learn from them so that they can be perfect from then on. Three, 
plan your time well. Make sure you've got enough time in the day to cover every single thing you need to. Four, have a study area. Have a study area that you can just focus on study. There's no distractions or anything else going on. Focus on your studies. And then the flip side of that is have other stuff to do. Have a range of things that you like to do, whether it's horse riding, whether it's football, whether it's reading books, whether it's playing computer games. Have other stuff that you like to do and make sure it's arranged so that when you're studying, when you're in your study zone, when you're in your study area, you can just focus on studying and nothing else is going to be distracted. Have specific times when you do specific things. So there we go guys, top five tips that will hopefully help you get those A stars. Don't forget, subscribing to my channel will be tip number six so you can keep up to date with all the videos, um, check out my blog for exam tips, anything you need, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you. Good luck guys.